Hey guys, have you seen this geometric object? I am sure that you have seen this geometric object many a times in your school days and I have an interesting question related to this geometric object and I will do this question at the end of this video. Before all this, like the video and share it with all your friends. Also comment below the video and subscribe to the channel because it's free. Thank you for all your support. Now let's solve this problem. So here we have a figure which contains this circle and a square is inscribed in this circle and the question is what is the circumference of this shaded region and we have given that the area of this square is 36 centimeter square so by using this information we just have to find the circumference of this shaded region now if you look at this carefully then the shaded region here is just the part of this square right this is the side of this square and this is an arc of the circle right that means we just have to find out the length of this boundary of the given shaded region so how to find this circumference so first of all let us find out what is the length of this side right so here we have 36 as the area of this square so clearly side of this square is you just take square root of this which is equal to 6 right because we know that area of the square is side square right that means what this part is done right we have 6 as the side of this square so let us find out what is the circumference of this arc right so for that let us first find out the circumference of the given circle which is clearly 2 pi r right where r is the radius of the given circle so to find out this r let's do some construction which is here you just draw the diagonal of this square and which is nothing but the diameter of the circle right so how to find the length of this diagonal it is just equal to so let us denote this by d so by pythagoras theorem because this is a square inscribed in the circle so by pythagoras theorem we have d square is equal to 6 square plus 6 square because here the angle is 90 degree so d is just equal to by taking square root on both the sides we have this is equal to 6 times root 2 right that means what r is equal to d by 2 diameter divided by 2 which is equal to 3 times root 2 right now what is the circumference of the circle which is just equal to 2 pi r so put the value of this r here so circumference of this circle is 6 pi root 2 right now to find out the circumference of this smaller arc we have to divide this by 4 why because there is a reason for that here we have a square inscribed in this circle right so these four regions are equal so the length of this r is just equal to one fourth of the circumference of the circle that means what this is just equal to divided by 4 so this is 6 pi root 2 by 4 right so just add these two that means take 6 plus simplify this this is just 3 pi root 2 by 2 or you can simplify this further so this is just equal to 3 pi by root 2 that means the circumference of this shaded region is equal to 6 plus 3 pi by root 2 i hope you have understood this problem now let's solve this interesting problem here i have a trapezium with me and the question is we have to divide this trapezium into four equal regions so if you look at this carefully then we can just divide this trapezium into three equal regions note that this side is twice of this side so just 
fold this. So here we have a triangle, right? Now again you fold this and here we have a square. Now fold this. Thus we have three equal regions, one, two, three in this trapezium, right? Now, how to make four equal regions from this trapezium? That is our question. This is a quite difficult task. Do you have any idea how to divide this trapezium into four equal parts? Then let me know in the comment section. Now, look at this trapezium. In order to divide this trapezium into four equal regions, just note that here we have a square, right? And here we have this triangle. So you first divide this square into four equal regions. And then we'll divide this triangle into four equal regions. So for this, let me fold this paper. So like this, we will fold this. So first we have to make four equal parts right, of this square. So fold the paper like this. Now open it and then fold like this. Now we have these four equal regions right for this square. Now in order to make four equal regions from this triangle let us again fold this paper so fold it like this now again fold this side like this and finally just fold this side and take this paper like this and then we are done so now look at this here we can fold this paper like this and we have this 1, 2, 3 and 4, 4 equal regions of this triangle. Now the final step is we have to just draw these lines like this. So just connect this here. Now this is a smaller trapezium. Now again draw like this. Right. Now from here draw like this. So we have this 1, 2, 3 and 4 equal regions which are again trapeziums and this whole trapezium is divided into four equal regions which are nothing but the smaller trapeziums. Now let's verify this. Let me cut this paper.